That was Street Literature, Products of the Environment, and if you want to hear more with them, go to workingclassrecords.com. Now, unless you're a banker or a developer, the word NAMA probably makes you feel sick to your stomach. But there's an ongoing movement in favour of uses of NAMA owned properties as space for public uses. One of the groups involved of the campaign is the Old City Arts Building, and our campaigner, Mick O'Brien, is here with us now. Hiya Mick, welcome Hiya. to Dole TV. Thanks. Now, could you give us a little bit of background on yourself and your campaign? I can indeed, yeah. Um, initially, we were a group of people who were based um, at the university and we wanted to put a project together that would bring together education and research um, in order to look at the kind of political problems we're facing at the moment in, in Dublin and in Ireland. Um, and we also thought that that was something that needed to be broadened out, that everybody should be able to participate in and not just students at the university or whatever. So we initially tried to get a space in the university, but, um, but that wasn't possible. And at the same time, we were seeing all these empty buildings, which were effectively becoming public buildings. Um, so we kind of put two and two together and, and thought we should, we should be demanding the use of these bu buildings for uh, projects such as, such as uh, the, the education-based project I was just talking about there. I see, I see. And can you give us a bit of a background about NAMA itself as well? Yes, well, um, NAMA has basically two different elements. The first one is, um, uh, well, Enda Kenny, I think, put it best uh, before he was Taoiseach when he said it was a, a blank check for the banks. Um, so it's essentially a vehicle to give about 30.5 billion of public money to the banks for losses that they generated in their reckless commercial activities. And then the kind of flip side of that is that NAMA takes the uh, property related loans off the hands of the banks and therefore ends up with this gigantic property portfolio that some people to be uh, believe to be the largest in the world. I see, I see. And has the recent fire at the City Arts building been put up for pay for the battle that you're going through? Yeah, well we were initially focused on, the, on a specific building, the old City Arts building, which was a fantastic resource, but unfortunately that burnt down in a fire that was wide, widely uh, reported a few weeks ago. And that in itself is an indictment of, of NAMA's failure to manage uh, assets, uh, assets properly. Um, but on the other hand, there's uh, rumoured to be about, uh, well not rumoured to be, it's, there's, it's known that there's at least 50 properties uh, belonging to NAMA in Dublin too alone. So there's a huge amount of NAMA buildings, um, so we'll be looking to use, to, to identify another building that we can use for our project. And how about the battle between in Smithfield with the Tesco's, the, the complex Tesco's are trying to take over? Yeah, well, that's a, I think that's a really important issue. There's, there's a, this theatre company, the Complex, which are, are based in Smithfield in a NAMA-owned building. Um, and in spite of the fact that NAMA is supposed to have a, a kind of social element to it, they're evicting, trying to evict the complex without any negotiations. But and uh, that, that, that example also shows the resolve of people, like the, the people who are involved in the complex, to resist um, the, the very narrow economic logic that NAMA is, uh, is trying to impose and to give a, a properly public and social use to buildings. I see, I see. And you're calling for NAMA legislation to be changed. Do you not think it should be scrapped altogether, maybe? Yeah, well, I think in relation to that, which is it's a very important question, I'd, I'd separate out the two elements of NAMA. I think the buildings that are there now, which are effectively public buildings, I think that they should be used for social and public um, projects, particularly in the context of cutbacks to public services and community development and so on. But the other element of NAMA, which is given $30.5 billion to the banks, I think that should be scrapped. Um, and there's a, there's a potential to do that if our, the Irish government were to default on, on its commitment to give the banks that, that money. Um, so I think that's something that people should be calling for as well. And would you like to, anything else you'd like to say just to get people kind of more involved and any more details as well about your campaign that people can get involved in? Because it's a quite a good and interesting topic. Yeah, well, there's a lot of people who are interested in using um, NAMA buildings and there's obviously a great need for it at the moment. Um, so we'd encourage people to come along to our meetings, which are on Wednesday at 6 o'clock in Shomer Spray. Shomer Spray. Yeah. Brilliant. That's great stuff. Well, thanks very much, much Mick, for being with us today. Thank and you. It was great talking to you.